Now you guys have read the title and you might be thinking, is this video gonna be about loneliness? Before you jump to those atrocious conclusions, let me assure you that this video is about self-love and love for the world. Today is Monday, it is 5 p.m. which means that I have three hours before my next class. I was in the shower and I had the idea wouldn't be so, so lovely to go to the center of Berlin and walk around by myself and listen to some music. Basically, I decided I wanna take myself out on a date. Mind you, the weather's awful outside it's cold it's raining it's kind of dark but i think it makes it even more romantic let's put it that way <laughs> i'm in this paradoxical state where i'm not really connected to the community because i spend most of my time with a handful of people but at the same time it's not like i'm really connected to myself either because once again i spend most of my time with this handful of people so i thought today is a wonderful opportunity to hang out by myself i kind of miss it and i miss you guys too like i don't know i feel like when i lived in moscow i had so much more time that I would like respond to comments and read most of you guys' messages whereas now it's just like However, I'm doing my best. So get ready for a beautiful date with me in Berlin. Let's go explore. By the way, I'm wearing Nicholas's jacket and it's so wonderful because it has really good big pockets that fit an umbrella and a reusable cup. Only wearing men's clothes, guys. <laughs> Darling, you send me now that I'm walking outside, I actually think it was probably the worst day to choose to take a walk. But I don't care. It's wonderful. It's fresh. The area where I live, it's called Kreuzberg. And right now I'm going to the center of the city. It only takes 30 minutes to get there by walking. So that's what we're going to do. Darling, you sent me. I know you sent me. Darling, you A lot of you guys have asked me about the law of attraction how I use it. So I want to share with you guys what I'm listening to right now and to what I listen sometimes. You have to be open-minded, of course, about spirituality and come into it from a place of curiosity if you actually want to learn more. And it's lectures from Abraham Hicks. I'm gonna link it down in the description if you are curious. I'm almost there, but it felt like I've only been outside for five minutes, which is nice. The rain stopped. <sighs> I love this life. I love this world. I love Berlin. Yeah. that one of my favorite cafes here in Berlin is like five minutes away from where I was so I'm just rushing there because they close at six and it's like 5.55 and I really hope that they accept my order and I can get hot chocolate. Hi, I told you closing at six but I was wondering if I can just get a hot chocolate. Yeah, sure. Perfect. Thank you so much. I'm so happy I made it. <laughs> You're welcome. Darling, you. I made it. She was so, so nice. If you're ever in Berlin, the place is called The Greens. Mm, I don't remember the name. I'll put it right here. I got hot chocolate with oat milk and a walnut banana cake And it's so funny that I want a hot chocolate and they couldn't make coffee anymore because the machine was off And I was like, it's perfect alignment with my desires I know you sent me Darling, you sent me I know you sent me Honest called Alex and showed him the beautiful evening and we had a nice conversation and now I'm so cold my hands are cold I'm gonna go to the station stop at a grocery store and get home so I'll see you in a few minutes Hi again, I'm super tired, it's about 1am and I'm going to bed But although I'm tired, I just wanted to conclude this video and share my thoughts and feelings with you guys After my date with myself and kind of with you I have this notebook where I write things that I'm grateful for in different reflections And I've had it for years and I just sat here on my bed and I read through some of the things that I wrote about and it literally made me so happy and so sad at the same time because I would write the things that I wanted like my goals, my dreams. Back in 2016 I wrote a letter to myself from 2020. So it says February 12, 2020. So my younger self was pretending to be my future self writing to her younger self 
to make her feel better. So crazy and I don't know, it just makes me feel so grateful. It's like my dream to move to California even before I knew about Minerva. You know, and the kind of friendships I wanted and the relationship that I wanted and how I spent my birthday when I was in San Francisco. My thoughts from India, my thoughts from Moscow and now and it's just... I think I never loved myself more than I do now and I never accepted myself more than I do now and it's been a journey I wish my older self could come to me now and tell me that it's gonna be okay it's gonna be amazing and that it only gets better but then I don't really need that right because in this book I have proof that it always gets better and that dreams come true and you just gotta keep having faith in yourself and believing that whatever comes to your mind and to your heart, it's achievable and it's possible. I guess the reason why I'm saying this is because I'm like fully crying now. This is the content you signed up for, right guys? The reason why I'm saying this is because I have dreams now that seem so distant and I'm almost afraid to dream about that because I fear that it's not gonna happen. And that's baffling to me because considering where I was in my life two years ago, five years ago, and how big I used to dream, whether it was about my exchange program or getting accepted into Minerva or traveling the world, it all came true and I was nowhere, nowhere even close to that. So that gives me some perspective on, you know, going back to dreaming big <laughs> and believing in myself. So if you're watching this right now and there's something that you really, really wanted and desire but you hold yourself back from that because of fear this is your sign to let go of that and follow and pursue that desire this is your sign from yourself from me from the universe take it and if you are struggling with self-love in the moment i hear you i feel you there was a time in my life when spending a couple hours by myself was excruciating because i just hated it i hated it it put me in the worst mood. I wanted to be around people so that I could smile and pretend to be happy with them, but then I couldn't accept myself. I hated the kind of person that I was. I really wanted to be someone else. And I, at times, just didn't want to exist because it was so unbearable. Now, I wish I could live forever, literally, because every single day brings me so much joy and happiness and like the little things, the big things, the people around me, myself, anything from the weather to my bed to food to the opportunities that I have. It's a journey and I'm still on it. And if you're in the beginning of your journey as well, I'm here for you. It gets better, I promise. And I thought I was gonna make a lighthearted video about how I go on a walk. There you have it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to bed with all this positive energy inside of me and I'm gonna dream about wonderful places that I'm gonna visit and people I'm gonna meet and I'm gonna wake up happy and excited for a new day. I love you guys. Thank you for listening, for being with me, for sharing this life experience with me. I'm gonna see you in a new video as soon as I can. And meanwhile, I hope that you're having a grateful and wonderful time wherever you are in the world. Whatever emotional state you are at, I love you. I really, really do.